Okay, YouTube. So, um, wanted to go over a little bit of something that I pick, picked up. And this is the uh, Audio Fuse Advanced Audio Interface. I mean, a spectacular piece of gear. I got the black one. And, uh, Orange is okay. Not really too impressive. Orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors, but not with black, though. But uh, anyway, I wasn't going to run any tests. I just wanted to talk about it, if about the cons and pros of it. And uh, you can see the outputs. It's just packed. Solid metal, aluminum, good paint job. It gets hot. It gets pretty hot, though. Aluminum, they made it out of aluminum so it could transfer the heat, but I don't trust it. So I bought a little fan, something like, oh, eight bucks, little USB fan. So you can see the, uh, see the input, little U USB fan. I got this from, uh, from Micro Center. Works good too. They got, I had a couple other, uh, kinds some flatter ones but you notice you got some usbs right right there so now the only downside to this thing besides the heat and uh and i and is that the uh i can show you what i had to do to my inputs so i'm a little tinkerer and, uh, so here's what i did Notice I taped it up, put, put a little black paint on there so I can know which side is up. But uh, I literally had to tape this thing because if you notice, that's a cell phone micro USB plug. Why they did that, I do not know. I guess it's part of the new age of thinking, but not knocking these guys because they are brilliant and uh. If you notice that thing right there is absolutely unstable that little USB plug is unstable and if you don't tape it it will eventually break so I taped it this card is not for travel at all but look at the backs look at the ADATs look at the it has a MIDI too Break breakout cables for the mid midi. This thing is absolutely fabulous, though. Nothing is perfect out there in the sound card world or in anything else you per purchase. So, this was a really good buy. Stepped my dynamics up to 119 A weighted, I think it was. And I used an inbox uh, for a long time, along with a 0404 and uh. It blows them out the water, you know, but I like to get my money for it, so I use a piece of gear till it fall, fall apart. My only worry was this one to be stable as far as drivers, rock solid, especially with when, when Windows 8, Windows 10, rock solid. The uh, my only complaint this and the heat, get you a fan, eight bucks. 10 bucks or whatever it it'll run it from the usbs you actually have two uh cables i can pull up the other one you got this other one this usb also hooks up and it has two usbs for some reason i guess one runs the uh hub and the other one runs the audio channels so you get two USBs. This one also, you notice, I taped it up. It's unstable. It don't fit right. Taped it up, tighten it up. Leave it still. It is absolutely a wonderful sound card. Not for traveling. They might say it's for traveling because they give it a little fancy top. But no, this ain't for traveling. Man. This, is, this is strictly for... Uh, something that sits still if it sits still in the studio it's cool 
Other than that, this thing will drive you crazy. As you see, audio channels are not available. As it loose and blinkety, whatever. So that is a good one. I mean, if you can't afford the Big Boy Pro Tools, which of course, who can? Unless you ain't selling records, right? Or got some heli clean clientele. And that's rare these days. So, real good card. I think my next purchase will be the RME for another computer I got, an older XP, because this one is not compatible with XP. For all you old heads who still use XP, because it's solid, got wonderful software. Nobody understand why people use XP. It is the best music software out there. For those who got used to it, at least, you can let anything go, but it is hard to let go. This is not compatible with XP. Um, at least not the 32-bit version. As far as XP, I got an older XP computer. I want to keep running and upgrade. I'm going to go for the RME Babyface Pro, I think it's called. Her, I read the uh, specs. It is compatible. So, yeah, great sound card. Two flaws. Horrible connections. And it gets hot. Now that is supposed to, this aluminum is supposed to transfer the heat. But it gets a little too hot for me. And we know electronics don't last long on the heat. Buy a fan. Cut the fan on and off. As you see, I got one that cuts on and off. So when I want to record somebody or myself that I can cut, cut it off. And it works fabulous. It keeps it at a nice temperature. Thank God for these people. Arteria, you rock.